Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Coil Corner. Today's edition we're going to be going over a basic coil change for the TFV8 Baby as well as other tanks out there on the market. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Basically, all of these tanks, you've got the uh, Shervate by the Seraphin tank right here. Uh, this one is my uh, personal favorite and I believe it's got a Vaporesso GT coil in it right now. But these were the original uh, coils that came with this particular tank and I wanted to customize. And let me show you a little secret that a lot of people don't let you know about. All these coils, every single one of them are cross compatible. I could take this baby, this TFV8 baby right here, and I could take this coil out and replace it with any of these coils. Just depending on my personal preference as far as heat, ohm load, a lot of times uh, people don't vape any more than 25 or 30 watts, uh, which you'd have a, a 0.5 ohm from a seraphim tank would work perfectly in here for the low wattage. Uh, for those people that want a higher wattage, they would go toward more of a uh, meshed 1.15 in the, the new uh, TFV9 coils, which uh, range between 40 and 90 watts. Now like I said all of these are cross compatible just personal preference as to what you want to vape off of. Do you want to vape off of a, a single coil, a double coil, a quad, a quintuple? Uh, it's just your, your own personal preference. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go through an actual coil change of one of, one of the tanks. All right. All right, today we're going to be using the 0 0.5, 20 to 55. This is my Seraphin tank. And what is in it now is a mess. So we're going to give a good cleaning with it today. First thing we want to do is get the liquid out. All right. A lot of times if you have liquid on the inside of it you want to give it a good wrap once you crack that open and yes that will happen a lot of times so I've got a little special rag That's what the inside of that one looks like. We still got a little juice on the inside, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Alright. And all we want to do is take a paper towel, wipe everything off, take the take every component apart. and just give it a good wipe down. You want to do this about every two weeks. Just take and wipe it down. You don't have to use anything other than just a dry towel. But that's pretty much a good, all you need to do is just get a little dry cloth and just begin to clean it off. Now that on the end of the drip tip, you might have to take a little rough on the nail because your your lips they shed and your drip tip is going to collect that dry skin especially the ladies out there and I like the lipstick and that's going to cake up on the end of your drip tip here so you want to make sure to get the inside 
And like again, I'm just using just a dry paper towel, no alcohol. We used 91% here in the store. It's a high evaporating alcohol, but we don't we don't soak anything. You want to try and keep away from soaking anything because you've got gaskets. You've got O-rings, you've got seals in here that if you compromise, you're going to have to ch change all of them and you're going to end up with the tank that's going to leak. So this is our coil. Let's see if we can grab a hold of it and get it out of here. There we go. We're going to jump up to a .5, which is going to run a little bit cooler. It means our wattage is going to be a little bit less. And just using a dry towel, dry paper towel. And clean the inside of your deck out. Make sure that the pin on the inside, you've got a pin right there that makes a connection with the bottom of your coil, which everything is operational. I'm going to show you, guaranteed way, if that coil is going to work or not, how to replace it and get it in there. All right, we're going to be using the Sure Vape. Fresh in the box, fresh out of the box. This does look similar to, it look almost identical except for the, the seal and the cotton. You can see where the, the two posts connect. You've got a little bit of a wider post connection. A little bit different construction on that. So it fits right on in the deck. Now the key to this is to make sure that you get this coil tight. Not taut, tight. That's the first thing. You want to make sure that that is secure. This is secondary. Because majority of your leaks are going to happen right in there. And that's where your coil seats into the deck. You want to make sure that that is always seated in there. And it's going to turn three, four, and five times. Not a half turn and you're done. No, 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 no. Half turn means it's not sealed all the way. And you're going to end up taking your glass apart like this. And your coil comes out in your glass. You need to make sure that this is so tight that you can barely get it out. All right. And there is a coil change for the basic compatible TFV8 baby. Okay, what we're going to be filling it up with today is Coastal Clouds Melon Berries in a new box. And Melon Berries. Ooh, it smells good. I always fill mine up off of the unit so as I don't uh, advertently hit the button and burn the coil up. That's about the worst taste in the world as having a coil burn up in your mouth. Yeah. If anybody's ever done that, you can comment below and uh, kind of share your uh, distaste for burnt cotton. It's nasty. All right, guys, we're going to let this prime, and uh, we'll see you up top. All right, guys, we're back up top. We've let it sit for just a little while. This is our tank, and what we're going to be using is the Force TX80 mod, 80-watt external battery. All right, new and old, new scanning 30 watts, 0.57.
let's see, let's turn it down to 25, close it off a little bit more. All right, guys, here we got uh, up to 40 now. Uh, let's see. A little bit more on the, on the flavor. So let's go up to, let's say, 47.5. So the coil makes a big difference in the flavor. The higher the wattage that I was using that coil, the more flavor I was getting. The lower wattage is more of a breathy. It wasn't you couldn't get the berries too much, but the higher the wattage I went with this particular juice, Coastal Clouds, I got more of the berry accent. Alright guys, thanks for joining me for this edition of Coil Corner. If you like what you see, subscribe and ring the bell and you'll get notified every time I do a video. I hope today was very educational uh, in that you can maintain your tank with ease. Thank you again. This is Gregory. See you next time.